Okay, welcome back YouTube family. It is incredibly hot. It is the end of August in Pennsylvania. I probably have a gloss over my face and I can just feel the sweat dripping. So excuse the sweatiness here, but we have quite a bit of progress here on the new home. We have almost all of the forms are all set up. That's what these are called. I guess forms is the technical word. We hopefully showed this on a past video. We're making a lot of videos here before we put them together. But earlier there should have been a video where the concrete truck and the, there was a big arm that came out that they could pour concrete where they wanted to. So this is hollow in here. So these forms are temporary. They will fill this in with concrete. When the concrete's dry enough, they'll take the forms out. There is, it's called rebar down in here, which is like a metal rod with some grit to it. So there's rebar posts, which help holds the concrete, helps secure it. That will help secure the concrete. And like down here, you can see right here, they are missing a little piece of a form. So I think tomorrow they're pouring concrete. I sure hope someone notices that there's a form missing there or we're gonna have concrete pouring out everywhere. This is the wall, in case you can't tell, this is the walk out to our basement. We're kind of standing on a slope down here. This is where they dug out for our basement. So let's come down here. And this is going to be a double door. And in case you're wondering, no, the door will not be like just at my head. Actually, right here is where the door will start. There is wood up in there and they have wood to block the concrete from going right here. So when these forms are taken down, the door will go up much higher. And this looks a little bit goofy here. Ryan will show up in there. I don't know if it'll be viewable or not. This looks a little bit goofy here because it's like, okay, we're stepping up into the basement. But since this is a slope coming down here, and yes, I think we already addressed, we're gonna to try to get a swell over there to keep water from draining down here. But just as an extra layer of protection, we said we did not want the very bottom of the door to be at ground level. We said, let's make it a step up to help prevent water even more water prevention of coming into the basement. So I would imagine because this is, there's grease here, but if I, I couldn't even probably stand up straight. So the top of the door, I would think comes to at least those boards up there. Don't you think? Something like that. So anyway, let's check out inside the house. I don't know what I'm supposed to talk about over there. <laughs> Just Behind those forms, you'll act, there is actually a window oh. that is in behind there. You can't see it currently, but you will see it later uh, when we take all the forms down. They have a, a wood square box in there for the window that's going to be there in the future. That won't be cut out. It'll actually, the concrete will be poured around that wood box for the window. And the concrete can somehow, it'll flow in under the window because there will be concrete here. And then probably a right, here's the window and concrete above it. So there'll be a... A space for that and in case you're wondering i'm always doing the talking it's not that i have to be on video my husband says i'm way better at it and i'm like well talking is what i do best and it doesn't really make me nervous so but we're going to get him on this video here sooner or later you're going to see his handsome face and i think i'm always wearing this dress on videos i just realized that tonight no i'm not dirty and yes i wash my clothes and this has been washed between other videos but it just so happens when we come down here, it's usually I came home from a real estate appointment or something. And this is one of the few non-maternity pieces of clothing that fit me that looks decent. So that's why I'm wearing this all the time. So yes, I have other clothes. This is just so happens to be what I'm wearing. So let's go inside. I'm standing just inside of the door in the basement now. So where I'm standing, we'll get a lot of natural light. We may or may not finish this basement someday. I think after we build this beast of a house, we might not really have any funds to finish the basement. So this is like way down the road, maybe when we have grandkids, if we want a space to send all the screaming children that we're probably gonna have in the family someday. So this, I don't want any bedrooms or bathrooms right here because I want it to allow all the natural light that the big door and the window will make is to let natural light into the rest of the basement. But our plumber did recommend if we do ever want a bathroom down here, which I think someday we will if we're sending grandkids down here like to play pool or a ping pong table. I thought we do want a bathroom down here. That way the kids are down here. They have a bathroom to use. 
So over in this area over here, I'll show you what we're thinking for a bathroom. Um, so our plumber said it's best to, in this case, because we're going to have to do an upflow because this is below ground. So we're going to have to have some kind of pump, I guess, to pump the sewage and water up. He said it, before they pour the floor, which they're pouring the walls, I think, tomorrow, it's almost the, it's like the end of August 2022. So he said before they pour the floor, which will probably happen in September, decide where you want your toilet because it's easier for them to prepare for that before. Even if we don't get the bathroom finished, it can be like roughed in, so to speak. So we are thinking this is one of the doors that goes into, remember, we're going to have a big storage room, partial cold cellar under the porch. And this is L-shaped goes the whole way along there it's like massive so we thought we'd do a bathroom without locking this door a bathroom right in this corner here so probably like a tub I said tubs five feet long so a tub should fit here bring the wall straight out so we don't block that door maybe have a toilet right here and then like a smaller ish vanity right here and then we can block this off and then I said this is perfect because our basement won't be super choppy we have a straight run of stairs coming down from the upstairs. And I think the bottom of the stairs will be somewhere in this area because there's a little bit of space between the stairs and this wall. And then the stairs in the living room going up to the second floor is actually hairpins. So they're kind of fancy looking. Um, but these are just a straight run. So where the stairs are coming down, the bathroom, I feel like then we have all the rest of the basement to play with. If we We'll probably put our workout equipment down here and like, you know, things that the kids can be a little more rough on, like a pool table or a ping pong table. Maybe we'll even let them bring their bikes down here in the winter. I don't know. So that is kind of our plans for now with the basement. They may change in the future. Uh, let's go into this big storage room and we'll see where we're going to put the sump pump. Okay, so we're in the storage room right now, which is under the porch. So Ryan is standing filming, imagine like the point of an L, like where the two sides of a, the letter L comes together. He's standing in that corner. So it shoots way down there and that feels ginormous now that these walls are up. I'm like, this is a lot of storage space. And then it goes, here's the other little arm that goes out. So where I was just standing, like the bathroom, we think will be right behind this wall here. Because of the way the ground is, we were the builder thought putting a sump pump here, but he actually may put it back in that corner. But somewhere on this side of the house, because it works better to pump it out and flow it out that way, because the, the grade of the land slopes more down towards the road. So we're going to go that direction. And then way, way down there, if you walk the whole way, you're like at the garage then, or on the wall that would share the garage wall. That is going to be mostly underground. And this side over here is more towards the walkout. So that could potentially be like the hotter side of the basement. So that's going to be like completely underground over there. So we think, okay, let me get ahead of Ryan. So down to this way and looky here, we have another door because this is so massive. Ryan very smartly said, I think we need two doors in the storage room. So one's way over at the bathroom where I just showed you. And there's one here on the really, really long wall. So we are thinking probably doesn't need to be a wall put right here. It can probably be back further. But since this is all underground, that could be like a true cold cellar where we would never heat it, put some kind of partition up and be able to keep like potatoes and onions in there because I've had trouble with them spoiling. So I always, always wanted something truly cold cellar because I'm sure we'll have a garden again and that's the storage room slash one last thing here while we're in the basement I know this stage of the building is not that exciting when the walls go up flooring comes in cabinets so much more exciting then. if you kind of pan up here or show me I am five foot three and these walls look massive I guess is that like literally nine feet at the top of those it's a little over nine okay but we had said we wanted nine foot ceilings I think in at least the basement and the main level, and then is the upstairs eight foot. Okay, we had said we wanted nine feet, first of all, on the main level to make it feel more open and spacious. So it doesn't feel like a huge room that's like squished down like this. And then we said the basement, even though it's gonna take more concrete, 
and of course more cloths. We had said, let's do nine foot ceilings in the basement in case down the road, after I sell many more houses, if we can afford to finish this, like your duct work and pipes and stuff usually run on the ceiling. And then till you cover them up with drywall or if you do a drop ceiling or whatever, you know, if you start with eight foot ceilings, then you might be talking seven feet and seven feet isn't that much higher than me. So your basement's gonna feel really squished this way. So we thought start with nine to give us more space if we ever finish it, then you don't feel so claustrophobic down here. I think that's it. Anything else to add? And our foundation guy said that most people currently are building with nine foot ceilings versus the, what used to be standard of eight foot. Pretty much 75% or better are doing nine foot ceilings. Well, that's good to know that we're not building our house outdated. <laughs> that makes me glad that we stuck to our guns and said, no, we want that, even though it's a bigger cost. So, okay, that should wrap it up for this video. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe, comment. We have so much to talk about. I always say that, but we'll try to keep things coming and do some more informational videos soon. All right, we are standing up here. We decided to add in a little bit about the garage yet here too before the video is over. I'm standing at the garage here. Ryan will try to get some different shots. Where I'm standing, this is all gonna be filled in with dirt right here. So like, I would be filled like waist high or like chest high here at dirt if I was standing when they fill in. So this is the garage. So. If I understand this right, this is the level of where the garage floor will be. So our tires would be at this level when we pull our vehicles in. So they, I don't understand completely why. Ryan can probably explain it better, but I guess to make it more solid and a firmer foundation, they put slate down. They're going to fill this in with some slate, probably some crushed stone, and then they'll pour the concrete on top of that, right? Yes. Um, and then... I almost just slipped here right before we started this video and about had a heart attack, but this drops off right here. So this is the outside wall of the basement. So you can see how much they're going to have to fill in. Hence all these big piles of dirt they need to fill in here. And this is the wall right here where the garage ends and the house starts. So that all needs filled in. And he can probably show you, you can almost see over there. That's that one wall that caved in. See if we can point oh, okay. right there. <laughs> Wasn't sure if you were pointing at me or <laughs> to say something that I forgot. Um, but yeah, you can see where it's kind of a little curve there and it all caved in and we'll probably get charged a little bit extra because it busted up all those little forms or whatever. But anyway, that'll get all filled in. We'll have a pretty looking house here soon. Anything else to add? Give you a view down in the wall of the nine foot wall. Oh my word, don't slip. Do you want me to like lean and hold that? I almost just fell to my death off the cliff. And here is the wall on top of the garage. This is the space above the opening there of the garage. They have a plate again down there so the concrete doesn't fall through and eventually they'll push dirt in underneath there. And that's it for this evening. Are you Hope you have a great evening. <laughs>